Leslie, I have the presentation right here. Karen Griffith told me there have been several conversations with the school board adopting a new budget by June 30th. The district is working with a $22 million deficit. To Griffith, this proposed pay increase demonstrates that staff is valued. So we're at 22 million deficit already, so we'll add that uh, 3.7 to that. So it'll be about a $26 million deficit budget going forward. That extra $3.7 million is earmarked for teachers, nurses, librarians, and counselors to get a pay increase ranging between $600 to $900, depending on experience. They were courageous enough to go ahead and said, even though we know that we're in a deficit, it's important to let our no, our employees know how important they are. Starting salaries will be raised to $13 an hour. Administrators would see a 1% increase that amounts to around $850. I know it uh, may be to some that it's not enough, and I do appreciate that thought, but at least um, at least we're trying to show our all of our employees that we value them and we thank them for sticking with us. Looking at a one to percent to 1.5 percent from the midpoint that is approximately six to nine hundred dollars over a period of 12 months before taxes uh, that doesn't amount to much especially with the rate of inflation right now dr nancy vera with the corpus christi american federation of teachers wasn't surprised by the numbers represented in the ccisd teacher pay raise recommendations we have long anticipated that there is a shortage of funds in school districts because of the lack of funding from state, the state legislature and the governor of Texas. Vera is disappointed by what she feels is a lack of support from the state. Is the reason why we have a teacher shortage and a shortage of bus drivers and a shortage of paraprofessionals is because we're not paying fair salaries because of the lack of funding. CCISD employees will also see a $500 welcome back stipend in September and a 1% mid-year stipend in November. The district is also looking at a 2% salary stipend paid in June that will go towards retirement. Back to you. All right, Simone, thank you.